Alrighty, so I took more than five minutes to calm down. Um, in that time, we did get a little news update that I'm going to read to you guys. So again, um, it looks like Wells Fargo has come forward and is saying that they're not quite sure about the combination of Cedar Fair and Six Flags Entertainment. Um, they don't think it makes sense, which a lot of us, trust me, a lot of us agree with that statement. So thank you, Wells Fargo. Um, the firm um, is calling uh, the Reuters report a stretch because Six Flags doesn't have a CEO currently, and the two theme park cultures are much different, and a substantial premium would be required to acquire fun, fun is Cedar Fair, to cover tax considerations for shareholders. Um, so they are calling this a bit of a stretch. Um, and to begin with, the original news story that did break was saying that um, Six Flags had just made an offer to Cedar Fair. So Six Flags made an offer to Cedar Fair and Cedar Fair hasn't said no and that they're just looking at the offer. That's all we know so far. Um, and Wells Fargo is um, someone that's very invested in Cedar Fair is calling it a bit of a stretch and it just doesn't make sense due to there not being a CEO for Six Flags right now um, and the amount of money it would require. Um, with that being said, uh, the news story that broke, we don't know what's going on at the negotiation tables. Um, so they could be, maybe Cedar Fair is thinking, well, maybe we can sell Six Flags a few of our smaller parks right now. Um, because in all honesty, this doesn't make sense. Could Six Flags run parks like Carowinds, Canada's Wonderland, Knott's Berry Farm, and Cedar Point, and King's Island? No, it doesn't make sense. These themed universes would all go to garbage. It would turn into DC, like Superman on top of Wonder Mountain. Um, you would have... Like, oh my god, can you imagine the attractions? Like, Leviathan Aquaman, <laughs> Behemoth Goliath, Yukon Striker, like, Wonder Woman. I don't know. Um, Orion becomes, like, <laughs> Superman the Ride. I don't even know. All the inverts in the chain becoming Batman clones or whatever. The Batman Ride. Whew, okay. Um, having a panic attack there. Just picturing Superman on the top of Wonder Mountain as you enter the park. Deep breaths. Okay. <laughs> It just doesn't make sense. It really doesn't make sense. I can't see it working out. Six Flags, no offense, you do good at your parks, but you would ruin Cedar Fair. You would be a blessing to the smaller parks in the Cedar Fair chain. So take that as a compliment. You would be a blessing to the smaller parks in the Cedar Fair chain, but you absolutely would destroy all the amazing things about Cedar Fair. And I do not want your dirty hands on Cedar Fair. I don't mean that in a mean way. I just mean that you do not know how to run the big top five parks in the Cedar Fair chain, and I do not want you anywhere near those top five parks. You can take the little guys, and you can make them blossom with your new ride and attraction every year. That's amazing for how you do things, but leave the top five parks alone. Cedar Fair, please don't do anything dumb, even though I know that all this news is probably not going to lead to any of the top five parks being sold um, we've seen that you, Cedar Fair, you're kind of investing and only looking after the, the top five parks moving forward, your stockholders calls, you've said that. So maybe these negotiations that are occurring are, um, to handle these smaller parks. Um, we know that's probably not the case with Michigan's Adventure. They just got a massive kind of like Planet Snoopy expansion. So that kind of shows that Michigan's Adventure is kind of going to get looked after a little bit, but you know, some of these other parks that are kind of a little neglected and a lot of the enthusiasts at those parks are a little upset you know someone like six flags would be a great option for those smaller parks and those enthusiasts you know an attraction every year is great um and cedar fair does things a little differently and people like me who have a top five park in the chain we're not ones like i can't sit here and talk about um being spoiled or not being spoiled or you know just deal with it if you don't get a ride or attraction because i'm biased it's not fair for me to comment on that um, so I have to say, I have to s sit there and look at what these enthusiasts are saying and defend them. You know, maybe a park like Six Flags would be better or a chain like Six Flags would be better for those smaller parks that don't get things many, many years in a row. Uh, but for the bigger parks, sorry, Six Flags just would not run those parks well at all. Um, don't want Six Flags' hands on any of those top five parks. Can you imagine Cedar Point? With all those land purchases and resort purchases and sports complexes and hotels and themed uh, universe with Forbidden Frontier, Maverick, Steel Vengeance, can you imagine what they would do to that park? 
just sit there and think. Like literally, if you're an enthusiast at a top five park or you're just a fan of one of those top five parks, picture it. Just sit down and picture it. It's horrible. It's absolutely horrible. Like, oh my goodness. Like, ah, oh, like especially a place like Canada's Wonderland and Knott's Berry Farm, which are really pushing out the themed universes, you know, with Medfair and uh, Frontier Canada and um, Knott's Berry Farm being completely themed left to right um, throughout the entire park. Can you just imagine? And Knott's Berry Farm is so close to Magic Mountain. Like, what would happen? What would happen? Oh, okay. Um, and nonetheless... <laughs> I thought I would just give a, a further in-depth analysis of the Six Flags purchase. So again, Wells Fargo, which are um, people who are invested in Cedar Fair, um, they are coming out and saying that they're not quite sure about this. It doesn't make sense. Um, they're calling the Routers report a stretch because Six Flags doesn't have a CEO currently. And the two theme park cultures are just so different. It doesn't make sense. And it would take a large premium to purchase a company like Cedar Fair. And they don't think Six Flags has that kind of currency. So good news for those who are maybe panicking. But again, Wells Fargo hasn't come out and said that it's not going to happen. And the original news report was just saying that Six Flags has made an offer and uh, Cedar Fair hasn't said no and that they're just negotiating. So that could that could mean many, many, many different things. Um, I'm definitely going to come out and say that the big parks are probably safe. Um, and maybe one or two of the little parks get sold off or maybe nothing. Maybe nothing at all. And we can all go back to our regular lives and pray that this never happens again. And yeah. Anyways, hopefully you enjoyed my whew, analysis on the whole Six Flags purchasing Cedar Fair bombshell that exploded today. Um, hopefully, oh man, go get some rest. Go recreate your home parks, your Cedar Fair parks and Six Flags parks on Planet Coaster and No Limits to calm yourselves down and <laughs> have some chamomile tea. Anyways, hope you enjoyed this analysis. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't, and share this video for others to enjoy. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Have a good one. Bye.